Uh, this uh, calculus lesson is uh, part two of uh, optimization cases. We're going to be dealing with um, a cylinder and it uh, looks like a, a room, a rectangular room with a track going around it. Let's go ahead and deal with the cylinder here. A cylindrical container opens at the top and has a 24 pi inch cube capacity. If the cost of the bottom of the container is three times the cost of the sides, find the dimensions to maximize the manufacturer's cost of the container. All right, well, here, here's some formulas here, you guys. So here's my cylinder right here with this, the radius, and this is the height right here. Okay, volume is uh, pi r squared times h, and they told us that was equal to 24 pi. All right, so then the pi's will cancel, so r squared h equals 24. All right, and the surface area, you guys, is uh, is 2 pi r h, okay? So um, and that's uh, given in the front of your book, so don't, don't worry about that. The container uh, equals the side plus the bottom. And now, remember, the side, uh, let's go ahead and put the formulas in there, okay? And uh, the side is 2 pi r h because, you know, if I, if I could cut this thing, you know, like a piece of paper, cut it right up the middle right here, it would unravel into this rectangle right here. And a rectangle is uh, length times width right here, so uh, the length is the circumference, 2 pi r h. It's just as if I cut it right there, it's just that circle unraveled into this uh, length of the rectangle. So 2 pi r h is the surface area, and then pi r squared is the bottom. All right, so let's get the cost involved, you guys. Remember it says the bottom of the container, which is the pi r squared, is 3 times the cost of the side. So it's a 3 to 1 ratio. Okay, and we want to minimize this cost. So we need to get one variable on this, you guys, and, uh, and uh, take the derivative. Okay, so remember the volume is uh, 24 um, pi, so 24 equals r squared h, and then solve for h, which is uh, divide both sides by r squared, and you get uh, 24 over r squared, and that's going to be substituted right in there. Okay, and then we'll have everything in terms of one variable, in this case r. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, I just substituted that in. Going to go ahead and cancel that r with one of those right there, and then... Uh, I get that. Before I take the derivative, I'm going to make this 48 pi r to the negative 1. I think I did that. Uh, yeah, I did that right here. Okay, so 48 pi r to the negative 1 plus 3 pi r squared. And then the derivative of this cost formula becomes this right here. Now I set that equal to 0. Okay, so um, this uh, negative 48 pi r squared to the negative 2 is 48 over pi, or I'm sorry, 48 pi over r to the positive 2, and I just added that out on that side right there. Remember, a negative exponent goes down in the denominator. That's why it's down here. Okay, so here we are. going to go ahead and cross multiply. I get uh, r squared times this r is going to get me 6 pi r cubed. All right, divide by 6, and you get uh, r cubed equals 8, so r is 2. Okay, then we got to make sure it is a minimum right there. So we plug uh, r equals 2 uh, right into here, you guys. And so... Um, I don't plug r equal 2, I plug r equal 1 right here, and I get this side as a negative, and when I plug uh, uh, r equal, say, say 3 on the right side of that, I get this side to be positive right here, so it's going down, going down, and it goes back up, so it means it's a minimum right there, all right? And then so, um, so that means that the radius is uh, 2 inches, and it said find the dimension, so the height is uh, 24 over r squared, so 24 over 4 is 6 inches, all righty? Okay, so here's another one here. This was number 22 in your textbook. A uh, room consists of a rectangle with semicircles on each end. A 200 meter track runs, uh, runs around the outside of the room. How large uh, uh, should the rectangle uh, be to maximize the area of the rectangle? Okay, so here's my picture. You've got this rectangular room with two semicircles on each end right there. Let's go ahead and put some dimensions on there, you guys. Okay, and it said the perimeter going all the way around. The perimeter is um, is uh, 200. Okay, and the perimeter is going to be x plus this x up here, and then this half circle plus this half circle is a whole circle, which is circumference. So that's 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle. Okay, where the radius, you guys, the radius of the circle is from here down, so it's half of y. Okay, and the area of the rectangle is just base times height, the x times y. All right, we need to maximize uh, the area of the rectangle. So I'm going to be taking the derivative of this formula, x, y. All right, so what I need to do is substitute this radius in for this right here and to get it in terms of just x and y right here. Okay, so I just substitute in r equals y over 2 right there. All right, and then the 2's cancel right there. You guys with me? All right, so 200 equals uh, the 2x plus, two, plus pi y. And then uh, divide... Um, 
And let's see, I subtracted 2x on both sides and divided by pi, and I get y equal to that. So now I can substitute y in for that y right there before I get set up to take my derivative. So I did that right there. Uh, let's see, so there it is right there. And, and then I distributed the x through, pulled out the pi, 1 over pi. Now I can take the derivative of that. This is now 200 minus 4x times 1 over pi. Okay, and then uh, I set that equal to 0. I get x equals 50. All right, and then I want to test to make sure it's going to be a maximum critical point. So x equals 50. I tested and I got it to be a positive and a negative. So it means it's going up and down. So it's showing a maximum. So find the maximum area. So I go ahead and plug in 50 and I get about uh, 1,591.55 meters squared. Okay, uh, just, just practice this, you guys. I got part one, part two, part three of this. I gave you several examples. And so Go ahead and practice. Ask your teacher great questions. If you're in my calculus class, uh, that would be your homework assignment. Take care.